Good evening and good morning to wherever you may be listening. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I want to discuss a four-word phrase that needs to be eradicated, erased, and completely obliterated from all perspective in aspiring overseas basketball players. Yo, you got connects? Now, I don't even think players understand the gravity of what they're saying. They don't understand how deep that phrase is actually goes. So I'm going to try and break it down here as succinctly and as clearly as possible. The first thing you have to understand in all of this is that your name and your reputation is everything in overseas basketball and really in life. It doesn't even matter. You can relate this to any profession, any industry, but especially in a profession as selective and as difficult as overseas basketball. Remember, there's only so many jobs in the world and less than 1% of basketball players will ever play professionally. So now your name actually carries even more weight. Your reputation carries more weight. So when you cold call an agent or a coach or a player, let's exclude agents right now because that's kind of like the relationship with agents, right? An agent is looking for business from a player and a player is looking for business from the agent. So it's really transactional in that way. So it's a bit more acceptable for you to approach an agent and just say, hey, my name is Jose Colorado. I would love to sign with your agency. There's a way to go about it. You obviously wouldn't say, yo, you got connections. But when it comes to coaches or connectors or peers or players, and you, and you don't know these people, and you're saying, yo, you got connections, you have to understand something. That person's name is everything. And say they actually, say by the grace of God, they actually gave you a connect and they put you on and they don't actually know who you are. And then you go to that location and you bomb, you tank, you don't do well. That person who put you on, now their reputation just took a hit in the market. Now teams are less likely to work with them. They're less likely to ask them for recommendations. Food is coming off that person's plate right there. Because if you send enough goose eggs, if you send enough players who don't perform at the level that the team wants, then guess what? That team is not gonna keep on going back to the same agent. It's not gonna keep on going back to the same coach, to the same player who gives these recommendations, to the same street agent, to whoever. It's just logical, right? If you don't produce, it's about results. They're not gonna keep on going back to the same person who doesn't give them results. Obviously, if you have some sort of built up, if you have a previous relationship with a person or with a coach or with a player, then that's different. If you have a relationship with someone and you're on more or less good terms, you've spoken to them a few times, there's some rapport there, there's some relationship there, and then you see that maybe they're playing somewhere or maybe that you think they could help you get somewhere, then that's different than you completely cold calling someone and just saying, yo, you got connections. That's different. If you know someone, then they're gonna be a bit more, in theory, they're gonna be a bit more in tune and know what you're all about, your game. So there's much more likelihood that they would help you in that situation. Versus if someone's just cold calling you and you don't know them, because then your reputation's on the line and everything, like I mentioned earlier, is at stake in that situation. Now, if you are cold calling someone, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with cold calling. Cold calling meaning you don't know me, I don't know you, but I would like to somehow work together or get something, some value out of this interaction or something out of this for myself. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But there's definitely a way to approach it. So instead of saying something like, yo, you got connections, say I didn't know someone and I wanted to play in, let's say, Austria. A way you could go about it is saying, introducing yourself first. Hi, my name is Jose Colorado. I saw that you played or you coached in this league, and I was wondering if you would have any recommendations of who I could potentially reach out to. Instead of just saying, yo, you got connections, because then that person who you message, the onus is on them, to basically put you on, put you onto the team. But if you go about it the other way saying, do you have any recommendations? How would you go about doing this coach? I saw that you coached here. Uh, I was curious about this league. People are a bit more willing in my experience, this is just my experience. 
people are a bit more willing to help you when you know it's not completely self-serving. So in other words, you have actually taken the time to see where this person plays, to see where they coach. You have studied them in some way. And that is somewhat of like a compliment to them in the fact that you would take the time to actually craft a meaningful and thoughtful message to them rather than just like snapping your fingers. Yo, can you put me on? Yo, you got connections, put me on. I get these all the time. They say, yo, you got connections in Japan. You got connections in Australia. And I say, yes, I do. I have developed them over the years, but I don't know you. I don't know how you actually perform. I see your game film, granted, but I don't know what you stand for, more importantly. I don't know how you are in the community. I don't know if you're a professional. I don't know if you have your head on straight. I don't know what are your intentions. I don't know you other than you literally just messaged me one minute ago saying, do you have any connections in this league? So what incentive or how smart would it be for me to send you or even work or try to help you get somewhere? Again, it's a little different. It's different if you're working with an agent because the agent and the player relationship is a bit more transactional. But even an agent, they're gonna wanna do more background checks. They're gonna want you to approach them professionally, approach them right, rather than just DMing them and saying, yo, you got connections in here. Can you put me on here? You have to actually show and prove in some way that you are worthy of that. Now, I don't want that to come off as like condescending or like mightier than thou. But the overarching thought is that your name and your reputation is so important that it's going to be very hard. I'm sure it has happened, but it's going to be very hard for someone to just, yeah, let me put you on. There's a bit of kind of like dancing that you have to go around. Ultimately, your goal is the same. Your goal is to get on. Your goal is to play in that league, play on that team and get signed but there's a way to go about it. And the way that you go about it, in my viewpoint, is everything. Because one will get shut down quickly and the other one may lead to something. Those are just my two cents because I see this all the time with overseas basketball players. So I know it happens tenfold with actual coaches, actual connectors, players who are in the game. I know that these people are getting hit up by random people who they don't know. And I would argue that success rate is probably very low of putting someone on like that. So yo, you got connects. We've got to change the phrase. We've got to change the game.